Yeah, good morning and welcome back to the NPTEL lectures on classics in total synthesis part 1 and we have been discussing about uh, total synthesis of natural products and then last class we talked about total synthesis of a four membered ring which is not a natural product but very important compound called cubane. So, today we will continue uh, along this and then we will discuss about uh, natural product synthesis particularly dealing with four membered ring. And today's natural products are called indiendric acid and uh, you can see here when you look at these two natural products B and C uh, there is nothing common, but when you have a closer look at you will find that these two have a four membered ring is not it. And this four membered ring in the case of indiendric acid B and A you can see B and A this four membered ring is attached to a five and six membered ring isn't it? This is five membered ring and this is six membered ring ok. And same thing you can see in indiendric acid C also it is attached to a five and six membered ring. But these five and six membered ring are attached to another six membered ring in a different fashion ok. And indiendric acid has a diene which you can call it a cyclohexadiene and also a side chain which is another diene ok. So, these interesting natural products which were isolated as racemates was reported in 1980 ok by black. And if you closely look at these four natural products ok particularly let us start with indiendric acid A and B. A and B have two cyclohexene moieties can you see two cyclohexene moieties. See whenever you see a six membered ring with a double bond that is cyclohexene substituted cyclohexene immediately one reaction which will come to your mind is diel salt reaction is not it? One reaction which will come to your mind is a diel salt reaction. And in indiendric acid you can see another six membered ring this is a six membered ring with a cyclohexane ok with a double bond six membered ring with a double bond a cyclohexane ring. So, that means all this indiendric acid indiendric acid A indiendric acid B indiendric acid C could in principle be thought of being made from corresponding dienes and dienophiles through a diel salt reaction. To support that if you look at indiendric acid D already you can see a diene ok. You can see a diene. So, in this diene you have two double bonds and if you are using this as dienophile one of the double bonds can act as a dienophile or if you are using this as diene this can act as a diene and the other one can will act as a dienophile ok. So, from the biological activity point of view uh, they show very good antibiotic activities and from structural point of view as you know they have four fused rings and overall eight stereogenic centers though these molecules were isolated as racemates. Nevertheless, it is very important to fix the stereochemistry. Those days uh, whenever group isolate natural products they also try to propose a synthetic pathway, a synthetic pathway in the sense how these natural products would have been made by nature. So, that we call it as biosynthesis. So, Black's group they proposed a hypothesis which is uh, biogenesis. What they proposed was if the nature has started with this tetraene having two side chains in the two side chains in the terminal carbon ok. Now, this tetraene you can say octa tetraene upon heating ok under thermal condition as you know when you see a conjugated tetraene which reaction will come to your mind when you see a conjugate conjugated tetraene which reaction will come to your mind a thermal electrocyclization reaction ok. Since it is a 8 pi electron then 
under thermal condition con rotatory cyclization is allowed ok. So, that should give you this cyclo octa trial ok. So, this is formed if you can see the con rotatory cyclization con rotatory as you know it is same side. Now, if you rotate this compound along this axis by 180 degree if you rotate this compound along this axis by 180 degree you should get this compound is not it. So, what Black proposed was after this con rotatory 8 pi electrocyclization still if you look at these two compounds you can see a conjugated train a conjugated train. So, the conjugated train under the same thermal conditions it can further undergo an electrocyclization reaction, but it is 6 pi electrons. So, the allowed is disrotatory electrocyclization. So, that should give you this compound though this was not isolated he proposed that it is endendric acid E and that should be the precursor for one of the endendric acid. And the other one ok if he does the same thing that is disrotatory 6 pi electrocyclization then one should get another natural product though it was not isolated he named it as endendric acid D and that should form the precursor for making some other endendric acid. So, the key thing was starting with a tetraene which undergoes successive 8 pi and 6 pi electrocyclization that leads to the fused 6 and 4 member ring ok. That was his proposal and if you start with a different substituent here if you start with a different substituents at the terminal carbon then again this will undergo another 8 pi con rotatory electrocyclization to give this cyclo octa triene. And again as I said you rotate it by 180 degree and then you will get this compound. Both as expected one can easily propose that this can undergo a 6 pi disrotatory cyclization to give endendric acid F ok. And same way the other one can give endendric acid G. Now if you look at endendric acid F it has a diene as side chain it has a diene as side chain and in this cyclohexadiene this double bond perhaps can act as a dienophile if that happens it can undergo an intramolecular diel salt reaction to give another endendric acid whereas in the case of endendric acid g what you see is this will act as diene and the side chain alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid will act as a dienophile. So, what will happen this will act as a diene and this will act as a dienophile, dienophile and both will undergo an intramolecular diel salt reaction to give another endendric acid ok. So, as I mentioned this is what he proposed. So, Endendric acid F should give endendric acid B through this intramolecular diel salt reaction and endendric acid G which can be written this way ok. Just I leave it for a few seconds for you to understand ok. Now this upon intramolecular diel salt reaction should give endendric acid C. Okay, this is what Black proposed after isolating these natural products that from synthetic point of view all this can be made by combination of pericyclic reaction that is uh, electrocyclization and diel sol reaction. So, taking this as a challenge Nicholas group they proposed a beautiful retrosynthesis and later executed a couple of years later they could complete the total synthesis of all this endendric acid. So, their idea is both endendric acid A and B can be made from one common intermediate 
ok you can see x can be homologated to get indianthric acid B otherwise you know you can easily convert this into indianthric acid A. The key reaction is only the intramolecular diel salt reaction, the key reaction is only the intramolecular diel salt reaction. Now this intermediate which can be written like this, now how you can make this intermediate ok. So, he thought if we break this bond, if you break this bond now you have two different substituents which is attached to the cyclobutane ok, one is CH2Y other one is CH2X ok. This idea is the Y can be easily homologated. Then if you look at this carefully indianthric acid D also can be obtained from this particular intermediate ok. If, if you homologate X you will get D, if you homologate Y you will get this intermediate ok. Next the indianthric acid G that also can be obtained from the same intermediate, it is just a matter of functional group manipulation ok some functional group manipulation and then transformation one can get all the indianthric acid from this particular intermediate ok. And if you look at indianthric acid G already I, I told you Black proposed that this upon heating will give indianthric acid C. So, overall to make all this indianthric acid what one needs is to prepare or synthesize this key intermediate. So, from one starting material it should be possible to make all the indianthric acids. So, this is what Nicola proposed and this is indianthric acid E, F, G, D and all this he wanted to make from this intermediate ok. And this intermediate how one can make as I said the CHO should be differentiated because it is important then only one, one side you can homologate. So, he made it as X and Y and this can be obtained from this cyclo octa triene and this cyclo octa triene can be made from the octa tetraene with two substituents at the terminal carbon ok. Now, if you look at this carefully, if you break this bond, if you break this bond and convert these two double bonds into triple bond. If you break this bond and convert the adjacent two double bonds into triple bond, you will get this. But from synthetic point of view, forward direction, how will you do? If you do a Lindler catalyst hydrogenation ok. Then these two triple bonds, these two triple bonds will be reduced to cis alkene. These two triple bonds will be reduced to cis alkene that will give you this tetrai ok. And how will you get this symmetrical compound? It is very easy again you, you break this bond that is the bond between two triple bonds which is normally obtained by glacier coupling ok. So, that will lead to this as the starting material ok. The starting material is now very simple. So, what he did was he started with this allylic alcohol having a triple bond at the end. Now, glacier coupling gave the diene ok. Once you have this diene then Lindel catalyst treatment gives you the tetraene. But what happens when you treat this diene ok, when you treat this diene with Lindel catalyst it does not stop there. What happens? It undergoes first the 8 pi con rotatory cyclization as predicted and proposed by Black. 
and it does not stop there it goes further it undergoes 6 pi rotatory electrocyclization to give this intermediate and this is a product ok. Directly you can see in one step he gets this key intermediate which is required for synthesis of all indiendric acid. So now having got this bicyclic compound with 2 CH 2 OH which are opposite to each other the next step should be to differentiate these 2 CH 2 OH isn't it. So if you can differentiate these 2 OHs then you can functionalize on the other side. So with that idea he was trying to protect he thought this CH2OH will be more you know open ok then it will be easily protected. But in reality when he was trying to protect the CH2OH selectivity was poor both the hydroxyl groups could be protected by TBDPSE. So what he has to do he has to follow an indirect method where one can protect one of the hydroxyl groups. So what he did was he carried out an iodo etherification reaction, iodo etherification reaction. So when you have a double bond, when you have a double bond and CH2OH adjacent to that, then when you treat with iodine the double bond, the iodine will add to the double bond, it will form iodonium ion and in the presence of base this OH lone pair can attack and opens the iodonium ion. So this is a well known reaction like iodo lactonization it can form iodo ether. The advantage is by using this you can protect the double bond as well as a hydroxyl group ok. It is a dual protection you are protecting the double bond as well as the hydroxyl group. Once you have done that now you can protect the other primary alcohol. So that was easy TBDPS chloride with base you can protect the the primary alcohol as TBDPS ether. Once that is protected now you have to regenerate the double bond and the alcohol that is easily done with zinc dust and acetic acid ok. Zinc dust and acetic acid will release the double bond as well as CH2OH. So basically originally he was expecting this reaction to be very clean in one step you should be able to selectively protect one of the primary alcohols but he could not. So it needed 3 steps iodo etherification reaction followed by protection of the other primary alcohol then releasing of the, the primary alcohol as well as double bond by treating with zinc dust and acetic acid ok. So now he has differentiated the 2 CH2 OH. What is the next step? Now you have to homologate the other alcohol. First you convert that alcohol into a good leaving group. So first is easy to make convert into bromide then you need to homologate. So simple SN2 displacement reaction with sodium cyanide in the presence of more polar solvent DMSO you could get the cyanide. So you homologated that CH2 to CH2 cyanide. Um, now the cyanide can be easily reduced with the dibol to get aldehyde then that aldehyde upon Wordsworth Horner Immons Wittig reaction you get the diene ok. So that aldehyde now is converted into the diene. As we discussed during the heterosynthesis once the diene is formed then this can undergo diel sol reaction with one of the double bonds of the cyclohexene ok. So what you need to do is just heat it. So take this compound treat with toluene and it undergoes intramolecular diel sol reaction IMDA type 1 to give tetracyclic compound ok this tetracyclic compound. Now what is required you need to remove the protecting group and whatever functional group you have to do you have to attach. Removal is very easy you use TBUF any fluoride source will remove the TBDPS group. Now you got the CH2OH again like how you have done on the left hand side convert the hydroxyl group into a good leaving group, convert the hydroxyl group into a good leaving group that is bromide and then followed by displacement reaction with cyanide you get CH2CN. Now you hydrolyze you get indiendric acid A. 
Okay, simple hydrolysis of cyanide will give you carboxylic acid and that compound is nothing but endianthic acid. So, from this common intermediate, the first natural product which was isolated from that is endianthic acid has been successfully synthesized. Okay. Then to go for endianthic acid B, so the cyanide if you reduce with dibol, you get the aldehyde, then followed by your wittig, stabilized wittig, you get the alpha beta unsaturated ester, then again hydrolysis of the ester will give you endianthic acid B. Okay. So, from the same intermediate, so now Nicholas group could synthesize two natural products, one is endianthic acid A, the other one is endianthic acid B. Then we have to go for endianthic acid D. So, the endianthic acid D is slightly different than endianthic acid A and B. So, what he did? The same cyanide which was the original intermediate for synthesis of endianthic acid A and B. Now, you keep it as such, the cyanide is not attacked, but remove the TBDPS group. With TBAF, you get the alcohol, then you hydrolyze the cyanide, hydrolyze the cyanide to ester with methanol HCl, then you convert the CH2OH into cyanide, a two step standard protocol converting into CBr4, converting into the corresponding bromide followed by SN2 displacement, you get the cyanide. Now treat with dibol. Okay. So when you treat with dibol, there are two possibilities, you know one the cyanide can be reduced to aldehyde at the same time ester also can be reduced. But between cyanide and ester, cyanide is more reactive towards dibol, so you get only the cyanide being reduced to get the aldehyde. Then again you do the Wittig, so you get the corresponding diene. So what you should do now, hydrolyze the ester that will give you endianthic acid D. Okay. If you hydrolyze the ester, you will get endianthic acid D. And for endianthic acid C, what you should do, you have to reduce the ester with dibol to get aldehyde. Then you do the stabilized Wittig reaction to get alpha beta unsaturated ester. Now if you do the intramolecular diel cell reaction, okay, this compound can be written like this. Now if you heat this, okay, now if you heat this with toluene, you will get the intramolecular diel cell reaction product alpha beta unsaturated ester. Now the ester upon hydrolysis you will get corresponding natural product in the endic acid C. So, if you look at the whole sequence, what Nicola has cleverly used was Lindler catalyzed hydrogenation of triple bond, two triple bonds into cis double bond. And during that period, a con rotatory, you know, 8 pi cyclization followed by dis rotatory 6 pi cyclization takes place to give a bicyclic compound where the cyclobutane is already there. Then from this common intermediate, from this common intermediate, he could successfully convert the diol into the corresponding OTBDPS and the other one as a leaving group. From that intermediate, he could go all the way to complete the total synthesis of endianthic acid A, endianthic acid B, endianthic acid C. So this is one of the classical examples. Uh, wherein the proposed biogenetic pathway has been successfully you know established and executed in synthetic laboratory by clever design of starting material. Okay. So, I will stop here uh, regarding the synthesis of 4 member natural products and then we will move to synthesis of 5 member natural products from tomorrow. Okay. Thank you.